Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I am gonna show how to make talking character with Duke Basil 2. Let's get started. So, vectors from flipkit.com, I will add download link and project files. First step, select this background and look layer. Select this layer 2, go to solo, and move to anchor point here. Click selection tool. On solo, select this layer 22, go to solo, move to anchor point here, click selection tool, and on solo. Select this layer 222, go to solo, and move to anchor point here, click selection tool, and on solo. So, select this layer 2, parent layer 22, select this layer 22, parent 222. For height this area, let's click toggle switch mode. Then select this 222 parent to body and let's select this layer 1, go to solo, move to anchor point here, click station to land on solo. Then select this layer 11, go to solo, move to anchor point here and click station to on solo. Let's select this 111, go to solo, move to anchor point up. Then click station to and on solo. Now let's select this 111 layer, parent to body. Select this body, go to solo and move to anchor point here, down. Click station to and on solo. Let's select this left layer, go to solo. Okay, let's parent to body, select this right, let's go to solo, okay, parent, body, select this here, parent again body, and select this air right, air left, nose and eyes, eyebrow, parent to here, and select this mods layers, let's right mouse, Precoms, add name mods, click OK. Let's open mods composition. Let's unhide all layers. Select this M layer and control D. Select this 2M. Let's move to here and click toggle switch, change non to alpha matte. Then select this M layer, control D for duplicate, move to up and select this 3 M layers, change non to alpha matte M3. Okay, so select this M3 and M2, let's parent M layer, select this M layer, press S, click this icon, and let's see. Okay, good. So back to talking composition, and let's parent this mod's composition to here. Select this here, go to solo, and let's move to anchor point here. Click selection tool and solo. Select this body. Let's press A. Let's see. Okay, nice. So, let's select this layer 1, parent layer 11. Select this layer 11, parent 111. And let's go to window, duik bezel 2. Click rigging icon. Let's select these three layers for left hand and click auto rig I key. Let's see. Say controller. Okay, good. Then select this layer 222 and 222. Let's click auto rig I key. Let's select controller. Okay, good. Let's select this body, press air. Let's see. Okay, good, nice. So close duik window and select this eyes. Let's press S, click this icon and go to here. Make scale chain frame and go to 3 chain frame 1 to 3, chain scale 5, go to 3 chain frame again 1 to 3, chain scale 100. Select chain frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, good. For random animation, select this ice chain frames, control C, and go here, control V for random ice blink. So, in this time, let's Select this controller and press P. 
make new parts in keyframe let's move right go to here and go to 10k frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and let's move to right this go to 10k frame again move to down select key frames make easy let's see okay and go to here make new passing key frame and go to 10k frame again move to back this is random animations you can make your key frames how to like you and go to again 2k frame make new passing key frame and go to 10k frame again let's move to write this let's see okay good so select this hand controller let's press p and make new passing key frame got five key frames move to like this let's move to right go to here got first second move to down and back select key frames make easy and go to here move to down this hand let's move to right and down okay go to here let's move to back and move to up okay go to here and let's move to down let's see okay so select key frames ctrl c go to here make new passing key frame ctrl v go to here create new key frame ctrl v and go to here again make new key frame ctrl v for loop animation let's see okay nice so select this uh, left hand key frames ctrl c go to here and create new key frame ctrl v Go to again here, make new passing shape frame and control V and go to here, make new shape frame, control V. So let's uh, select last shape frame, delete. Okay, let's move to left this layer and select last shape frame, delete and move to back. So for loop animation, let's delete this shape frame and select first shape frame, control C and go to here, select this control V and select first shape frame, this hand, control C select last shape frame control v for loop animation let's see okay good so let's select this body and go to here press air make rotation shape frame and let's change rotation minus three and go to here change two select shape frames make easy let's see Okay, go to here, make new rotation chief frame, go to 10 chief frame again, change minus 4. This is again random chief frames. Let's see. Okay, go to here, make rotation chief frame, go to 10 chief frame, change 1. Go to here, again create new rotation chief frame, and go to 5 chief frames, change minus 2. And select these chief frames, control C, go to here and create new chief frame control v then hold alt move to right this chief frames for loop animation and select first chief frame control c go to last chief frame control v let's see okay good so let's select this body and go to here for bones effect hold shift press p make new person chief frame and go to center let's move to down go to last shape frame select first shape frame control c control v select shape frames make easy let's see okay select shape frames control c and go to here control v and hold alt move right let's see nice again control control v and again and again and again control v and hold alt select three key frames hold alt and move to right and again and finally again let's see
Okay, not bad. So, let's select this here, press R, and in this time, make rotation keyframe and go to 5 keyframes, change rotation like this, select keyframes, make easies, and go to here, select this here, hold shift, press P, let's make someone, make new passion keyframe, go to center, and move to down this here, go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, Control C, Control V, for smooth bones animation. Let's see. Select this, go to solo. Okay, good. Select shape frames. Let's move to right. Let's, for slow animation, select all layers, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, go to here, make rotation keyframe and go to 5 keyframes, change 5, select the 3 keyframes, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Again, make hit keyframe, go to here, change rotation minus 3, and select this Ctrl V for bones. Then select this keyframes, Ctrl C, and go to here, Ctrl V. Okay, good. Nice. So let's back to modes composition and select this M layer. Make go to first second, make sketch a frame and go to three J frame one to three. Change scale like this. Go to three J frame one to three. Change like this. Again, go to three J frame. Let's change like this. Go to three J frame. Change this one hundred and this like this. Let's press N, let's see. Okay, select shape frames, make easy and let's control C and control V. Again, control C, control V for loop animation. Again, select these shape frames, control C and control V. Let's see here. Okay, good. Nice. So in this time, let's select this layer left, go to solo and let's add one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool and let's unsolo okay then open mesh one and open the form select this puppet puppet three open here and let's go to some keyframes. frames and let's move to left and go to here Move right, select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, and go to here. In this side, make new shape frame. Go to here. Let's move right. And go to here. Move to back. Let's see. Okay, let's move right these shape frames. Okay, very good. And let's go to here, move to right, let's see. Okay, good. And go to here, move to left. And go to here, make new passing chief frame. And go to some chief frames, move to down. Go to here, move to left. And Move to right. Select your frames, control C and go to here, control V. Let's see. Okay, very nice. Then let's select this layer right, go to solo, and let's select puppet pin, add one puppet here, one here, and one here. Click selection tool and solo. Again, open mesh one, deform, and select this puppet. This is puppet pin three. Go open here, and go to here. Let's move to right, and go to five shape frames. Move to left. Select shape frames. Make easy. And in this time, make new shape frame. Go to here. Let's move to left. 
and go to here move to right let's see okay good so in this time let's make new shape frame go to here move to right and go to here move to left let's see okay very nice let's select shape frames control c go to here make new shape frame control v and go to here make control v again let's see okay this is very good so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck